Hi guys, today we're going to draw an Andalusian. Mm -hmm. They're a little similar to Arabia. Yeah. But dapple gray Andalusians look really like uh, <laughs> Arabians. They kind of do, yes. So the Andalusian looks a little bit like the Arabian. It's got a beautiful long neck, a lot more muscle on its neck, right? This one definitely is, which kind of enables them to be all springy and beautiful and move really pretty. So, all right. First, we are going to do <gasps> circle for the head. It's got a little bit of a turn. It's got a three quarters angle. Are you so, drawing right now? Yep, yeah, I'm drawing. Okay, so I've created a circle for the head here. Because his eyes are turned just slightly, I put a, a line through where his eyes are going to go. Okay. And then I'm going to extend his nose down, do another circle about where the muzzle would be, just for visual reference. And remembering that that plane of the nose, um, and try to follow that plane of the nose. So. We're doing our best to just draw three-dimensionally of this horse. There we go. Now do I draw the eyes? Do I need to? You can draw the eye in if you want. Okay, so. It's got kind of a three-dimensional shape. Mine is a girl. Head. Okay, that's fine. Um, and we're just going to continue on. Now get the shape of the neck. Got this triangle line coming through here. So it's kind of like a soft triangle line that we're going to try to affect here. Draw the belly. Now draw the butt. Sorry. Okay. And I'm drawing an Andalusian, but mm -hmm. this one, that definitely drew. Chisel. The legs are a little longer. Try to draw in proportion. So. Yeah. Proportion means. Scoffy. Um, proportion just means. Here we go. Uh, proportion just means that the horse that you're drawing is similar to the shape of a real horse, right? So, nobody's perfect, but we're getting there. Okay, so these nobody? are my first guidelines. So I'm perfect. You see, oh, yes, of course. Um, okay, so these are the first guidelines. You see his back is a little bit higher than where my original line was, so I'm going to bring that line up. Okay. Um, and then his shoulders, pretty decent angle there. Mine's a girl. The hoof is going to come out, or I'm sorry, the, the leg, the foreleg is going to come out at the center of the shoulder. There's this kind of a, a slight indentation and definition here that you see where the foreleg comes out of. So try and place your foreleg, uh, make sure it's not too far forward, too far back, and it's just right in the center of the shoulder there. Okay, and then we have our other third, the belly. I'm going to bring his back line up just a hair. And then we have the tail line. The tail comes out high on an Andalusian usually. They carry their tails a little bit like Arabians. I'm running out of room again here because that's what I've been doing this week. Yay, we're running out of room. So, I'm going to continue sketching. How's your Andalusian coming? Ooh, very nice.
Also, I just wanted to give a brief talk a little bit about the Andalusian and what this horse can do. Um, Andalusians were originally bred by the nobles in Spain. Um, and Spain? In Spain? S the, yes, Andalusia. They were bred in Andalusia, Spain. Um, and they're amazing horses for all terrains, really, but yeah, they were originally bred to be, you know, the knight's horses. Um, very fast in battle. All of the movements that you see Andalusians doing were um, based off of you know battlefield movements and stuff. Even the very the very high trots and when they kick and uh, there's a there's a lot of movements that are that are just really important if you're sword fighting on a horse. Uh, you know if the horse the horse has to move sideways and be very delicate, very light on its feet, but yet still big and able to carry somebody in armor. Um, so this is a really amazing horse to me. They're crossed originally with the Arabian, uh, mixed with, that, with the um, heavy horses from Northern Europe, which makes them one of the first warm blood horses. So they're really lovely creatures, extremely intelligent, very fast, um, and very able to pick themselves up from one spot and move really quickly into another spot, back and forth, back and forth. Um, and that's all because of their interesting bone structure. So, I'm glad that we could talk a little bit about the Andalusians.